Latches hold the glove box shut, green arrow. The lock cylinder, red arrow, prevents unwanted access. I will show you how to replace both items in this tech video. The lock cylinder will be shown with the latch removed. You do not need to do this. However, it does make it a bit easier, and sometimes the lock cylinder sticks inside the latch assembly. The first step is to remove the trim panels surrounding the latches, red arrow. Use a plastic trim panel tool and lever the trim piece off the instrument panel. Once free, lower the trim panel and move it aside. Leave the auxiliary input attached. Just let it sit inside the glove box. Working at the release button lock cylinder, remove the two T20 Torx screws, red arrows. One has already been removed in this photo. Next, move to the latch mechanism. Remove the four T20 Torx screws, red arrows. Lower the latches. Then, at the right side, disconnect the electrical connector by pressing the release tab, red arrow, and pulling the connector straight out. Lower the latch a little more. Then, at the left side, disconnect the electrical connector by pressing the release tab, red arrow, and pulling the connector straight out. Remove the latches from the glove box. The lock cylinder has to be removed, either to be replaced or swapped over to the new latches. Working at the lock, pull the trim piece off at an angle. Still working at the lock, insert the emergency key, remove from your remote key, and rotate the lock cylinder clockwise about 45 degrees. Pull the lock cylinder straight out to remove it. If the lock does not come out, it may need slight levering as they get stuck. If that is the case, flip the latch assembly over. Lever out the latch switch, green arrow, and move it aside. With the latch switch flipped over, remove the wiring from the holders as indicated by the green arrows. Pull the lock cylinder light right off the cylinder lock. Working at the lock, insert the emergency key, remove from your remote key, and rotate the lock cylinder clockwise to about 45 degrees. Use a small flathead screwdriver to lever it out. Pull the lock cylinder straight out to remove it. Insert the key into the new lock cylinder, then install the lock cylinder at the same 45 degree angle. When pushing the lock cylinder in, listen for an audible click. If you do not hear a click, check the alignment of the lock cylinder and latch. Reassemble the latch assembly in the reverse order of removal. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.